Hi everyone. Let's take this quick demonstration how flow orchestration together with flow integration is going to support the whole process across multiple systems. So we have here just a simple use case on uh, access portal which is super simple. Users can create a new request uh, for access anything name it whatever this request will be then created on the portal for the users so the users can see it. we have additional informations for the users to follow up on like the stage itself where the access uh, is right now what is the stage of this access request um, we have systems involved like service now where we are going to create an item bring that request to somebody else to um, work on and uh, still keep the process uh, streamlined same we are going to do at some point with jira so we are sending the information to jira so users sitting in jira residing in jira they can react on that access request and fulfill the task the workflow is simple um, it's just divided into six phases it starts from the moment um, the portal user is creating the access request um, and this request will start basically in service now somebody has to look at that request and uh, continue to approve it and once it's approved it will be uh, sent back to salesforce in salesforce uh, the administration can take uh, and apply their workflow and um, do all the steps which are needed to be done then it's sent to jira so jira the developers or whoever is sitting in jira they can review it and act upon it and then it's sent back to salesforce workflow can be applied here as well and we have then deployed and shared so this is like not really uh, much workflow applied there but this should demonstrate how flow orchestration together with flow integration which is composer uh, can help you orchestrate and streamline a process across multiple systems involving multiple users and parties so let's see this in action we are going to start at this area so one step or one visualization is missing here so the new stage will be done through the creation uh, by the portal user and the portal is as simple as this one you can see it here a simple flat line portal it can be anything so it's built on experience cloud uh, you can apply here any kind of things uh, so what i would uh, like to have here for instance is i would like to request access to let's say um, documentation for uh, order api yeah um, and it's postman collection and postman collection whatever could be anything uh, the rest of the fields we are just uh, showing here for the demo purposes so these are going to be set automatically uh, same goes to the ServiceNow request ID and this item that should be sent to ServiceNow and Jira and sent to Jira as well at some point in time. So let's create that uh, request and we will see what happens. So let's save it. We can see that the request is being created and we are just entering the request. So you can see this tick is already on means a little bit of automation already took place and additionally if we would go back to the home page we should see that our request which is here request access to documentation for auto api or its uh, postman collection has been set to the stage new so couple of automation already happened and very soon we are going to see the id populated so let's refresh it here and we should see now the new ID came in. This is good. Additionally, what I also did is I placed a new message here. So new item is created with that ID. So I'm informed as well, just also just for the demo purposes and also to show you what is possible. Uh, now let's go into service now and look for the ID 13. 
we can see the last one is 12 so let me refresh it here it is refresh list and we should see here now this id so let's take a look on that request whatever is included i've not shared much data um, just simple uh, things here let me change the view you can see here i'm not going for the approval process in service now i will just change the state from here to close complete and click on update and it should then update um, so let me click here on update and uh, execute it here so we get uh, sent to salesforce again and can act upon the workflow in salesforce um, again for this one i've also uh, put here for debug purposes or in notification purposes the message so i can follow up on it and i should see here at least that this should move into in progress and somebody in salesforce should be looking at it so i have the list also open here in salesforce i've not refreshed it so let's refresh and get our item here and it should be here in progress uh, you see the service now id which is fine let's go into the request and in salesforce i have now my workflow which i can provide whatever i need information from service now i've kept it simple to demonstrate that you can really go cross system and orchestrate your business process and send the workflow wherever you want uh, to send it um, with flow orchestration together with flow integration here so here you can provide any kind of information i will just move it to the next stage so the moment i press next it should go into review and from review it means it should also be then uh, currently we are here uh, we have already approved here in service now so it is sent back to salesforce now if i continue and press next it should go into review in jira let's do that let's press next it is moved into review for the user of course this is the same list we can see it's in review here we see also the tick to jira and now let's wait a second for the information to come and then we refresh the page so let's refresh the page we got here the jira id so let's move into Jira now and see, let me, ref ah, here you go. So here it is. This is the Jira ID. And finally, what I can do is I can review it. And whenever I feel like I want to finish it, I can just drag and drop it to the done stage. It's in German, um, this to do. This is done. So I will just drop it in the done bucket because I have just done this on the Jira side as a user. So the process can further continue. Let me just drop it here. So it's dropped and let's go back into here. So this is actually what we have just done in Jira. We saw the request came. Now we will do the provisioning in Salesforce. Um, Let's go back here into Salesforce, refresh that page. Can I do it now in provisioning? We also have the ID in Salesforce and we have a new workflow, which says and summarize basically all the information, the service now ticket, the Jira ticket we have here. And I can now just click next to finish the workflow, which will then be moved into deployed and I can manually move it to shared here so that's actually what happens you can see it automatically moves it into uh, deployed um, user of course sees this information as well so you can see it's in deployed and now i can move it into shared market as a current stage and with that the whole request has been completed um, and the user can also see here that this is something which has now been shared with him he should receive an email or whatever the process is you can define but to control the life cycle of this uh, workflow we have been using the flow orchestration piece to govern and streamline the process with the help of um, mulesoft composer aka flow integration to make that process also 
go beyond boundaries um, in a simple way um, and really address users who are sitting in different systems like ServiceNow or Jira. Hope uh, you liked it. Um, until next time then.